of the Netherlands. Hi there guys and welcome to this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Now, let me tell you something. It is not a coincidence that I'm wearing this orange polo that belongs to my husband because uh, my clothes don't fit me because my belly is very big now, you know, because of the pregnancy. I'm wearing this orange uh, polo because tomorrow here in the Netherlands there is a big party. Tomorrow is Koningsa! So it's King's Day tomorrow, the birthday of the King of the Netherlands and everybody, like let's just say most of the people will be celebrating because I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So uh, the, the video that I would post on Tuesday, I would make it tomorrow. That is Monday, but because tomorrow being King's Day, I want also to enjoy. I advised myself, I say to myself, you know, Nemo, it's better if you go film today. So today is Sunday, so that tomorrow I can just have a celebration. And uh, that's why I'm sitting here right now. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys seven important things that anyone should know or should learn before they actually decide to move to the netherlands or before they move to the netherlands so one number one in the netherlands they speak dutch language okay the dutch people most of them speak english and also other european languages like german like most of the dutch they do speak german but the main language here is dutch and uh, you will need to learn the Dutch language to be able to communicate with Dutch people. So that is good to keep in your mind so that when you arrive here, you're not like, oh my God, what kind of language is that? And do I have to learn that? Yes, you will have to. You will have to learn Dutch. And number two, point number two that I want to share with you guys today is that you do not have to get married to a Dutch person for you to move to the Netherlands. Um, I am saying that because I have seen and I have heard, I've also read, there are countries here in the world where you first need to marry the person that is coming from your country. What I mean is that in some countries, you're allowed to move to that country only after marriage. So what they do is that they, they marry in their own country, let's say they marry in Kenya, and then they show and then when they go apply for the visa, they show also their marriage certificate. But in the Netherlands, it is not like that. The only thing that you need to do to move to the Netherlands is you need to do the MVV exam. And once you pass the MVV exam, uh, you can go ahead and ask for a visa to move in with your partner. You don't need to get married before you move here that is very important because some people don't know that because um when you have a partner from the netherlands you might think yeah but i have to marry him i would like to move there but i have to marry him before i do that you know it is not it is not a requirement it is not something that you need to do here in the netherlands so you can move in with your partner and still live as boyfriend and girlfriend for the rest of your life or you can get married. Uh, you can also sign for the Samen contract. So Samen contract, which is a, a living together contract, is um, registered and it is legal, which means you can live with your partner, but uh, you're not married, but you're registered living partners. I don't know if you can understand me. But if you think you want to do that, get married there, uh, in your country, maybe Tanzania or Burundi and then move to the Netherlands after you get married. That's also okay. Another thing that you need to know that is uh, number three, very important, is that the Netherlands, they have four seasons. So they have winter, that is the worst for somebody coming from a warm country, that is the worst because it's cold, unless you're somebody that likes cold weather then it then it's not the worst but um it's the worst because of the cold i'm not saying it's the worst because of living or whatever it's because of the cold and then after winter you have spring and spring is very nice then uh flowers start to come out uh trees start to get leaves because in the winter um 
trees do not have leaves and there are not very many flowers you don't see flowers around like during spring spring is very beautiful and then you have summer the one i love the season i love the most mostly summer is nice and warm so it is okay and uh, then you have autumn and autumn uh, it is mostly windy and uh, the days are shorter because then uh, winter is coming <laughs> so <laughs> winter is coming in the in the voice of Jon Snow if you watch Game of Thrones winter is coming <laughs> so yeah um, autumn is welcoming the winter so the trees the leaves from the trees start to fall out there's a lot of wind rain and uh, it becomes dark really early at around four o'clock so yeah there are four seasons and until now until now i try to explain the seasons to some of my family members and it is very hard for them to understand it so like when i say it's winter it's cold and and they were like uh, they're like is it the time where you have snow, uh, then I need to say yes, but not always in the winter you have snow. And then I'm like, um, when they're calling with video and I show them that it is 11 o'clock in the evening, in the night, and there is still light outside. And they're like, how is that possible? I say now it is summer and they're still like, okay, so summer is the warm uh, the warm time of the year like you're sitting outside with a t-shirt and something yeah so it is not very easy for everybody to understand the four seasons especially if you're coming from a country where you only have rainy season and normal weather so rainy season and normal weather that is now uh, you can say it is summer the whole year through and then for some time you have like yeah rainy season so yeah in the netherlands you have four seasons uh winter or should i start with summer let me start with summer you have summer and then you have autumn and then you have winter and then you have spring number four physical abuse of any kind is not allowed in the netherlands physical abuse of any kind now i am talking to you people that come from countries where it's okay like my country where it's okay to beat up a child i'm talking to you people that coming from a country because there are countries in the world where they say if you don't beat up the wife then she doesn't listen there are also countries where the wife beats up the husband because the husband drinks too much. Now, listen to me. Any kind of physical abuse is not allowed here in the Netherlands. Also mental. Like, let's just say any kind of abuse is not allowed here in the Netherlands. That is something that you, you should know so that when you move to the Netherlands, you don't go beating up your kids because they have done something wrong or something like that. I know there are still people that beat up their kids. I know. And also Dutch people that still see like punishing their kids is a good thing. I mean, I am saying that because I've heard stories. So please, guys, please elaborate on that. Uh, do that in the comment section below. I would like to hear your take. But any kind of physical and uh, any kind of abuse is not allowed here in the Netherlands. If you beat up your child, then your child goes to school with, you know, you beat him up until he, his eyes are like, like this. You know how it is in African countries, how like you need to punish. There is a saying in Africa, um, spare the rod, spoil the child. So beating up a child is allowed in most of those countries that is not here in the netherlands i'm not saying specifically which one but i'm using mine as an example because oh my god those beatings i have received when i was young <laughs> and also in school but beating up uh, a child beating up your wife beating up your husband here in the netherlands is not allowed and in, it is punishable by law uh, number five, which is also very important, um, you need to know that once you move to the Netherlands or when you're planning to move to the Netherlands, you might 
need you might end up changing your career and i think this is very important because um also i know i studied marketing management when i was in kenya and i had it in my mind that when i reach the netherlands with my degree i will immediately get a job you know i will go search for a job in marketing management and i will immediately get that job so if you move to the netherlands just for the purpose of work then you came here for your work so your career you will continue your career or maybe if you move to the netherlands because of uh, study then you came here to study and you can continue with on the same thing that you studied for like build it as a career but if you came to the netherlands you move to the netherlands with your partner there are chances that you will have to change your career because maybe your level of study is not going to be enough and also it depends where you're going to live if you're going to live in the cities then maybe there it's much easier i haven't lived in the big cities i lived in enschede and now i live in a very small village where i'm surrounded with farmers so um it is not very easy to like go and do the marketing management to further my marketing management career like i thought because i remember when i was looking for jobs in marketing uh, around where i was living uh, I needed to first be very good in Dutch because in most of those companies they speak Dutch and German. You do have international companies but I think it's safer to know that it is just not going to happen the way you thought and I'm saying that and if you're watching this and you have also been in the same uh, situation you thought that once you arrive you your career will you know flourish no it might be the case that you will not follow the same career that you had the case might be that you will have to go back to school and you know get yourself your education to the dutch level or maybe go change careers and go study also something else in school so that you can do a different type of job so the point here is and the reality also because i don't want to lie to you that things are going to be very easy or things are going to just go like shoo you know like straight on the line that you planned no that is not the case things might need to change and your career also might need to change and it might be the case that you don't immediately get a job or if you get a job then it will be something else something very different and the reality of the matter is if you're an if you're an immigrant then you will have because you don't speak dutch yet or very good dutch yet you might end up getting jobs in things like production industrial jobs logistic companies you know that is just the reality tell me if i'm wrong and if there is any other way that you know that if there is any other way that you think that you can also put on the comment and advise also my viewers and also ideas that you would maybe would like to share with my viewers but i'm just telling you what the reality is so yeah number six it is very important for you to know before you you move to the netherlands that it might actually take you some time before you stand on your feet the culture is different so you will have to start to learn the dutch culture which might take you a while before you accept how the dutch culture is because it is not for for instance coming from yeah actually wherever you're coming from and you're moving to the netherlands the D netherlands is a very very different country and the cultures are very different from where you are so in cultural aspects in the fact that you will have to uh, learn a new language and uh, the fact that you will need maybe to start looking for a job again for those that move here for different reasons than uh, coming here to work as an expat or maybe as an au pair so if you come working as an au pair or, or as an expert then you already have a job 
so yeah the problems that you might need that you might face like before you stand on your feet is to catch up on the weather or something like that for you but all this you just need to know that it might take you a while before you stand on your feet you're moving to the netherlands you leave your countries uh, you leave your family you leave your uh, friends in your country so for me in kenya and then it took me a while before i got uh, i got to make new friends it took me a while before i got to learn the language it took me a while before i became so you know to to accept the differences it took me a while so right now i can say that i'm standing on my feet even though i wobble sometimes i wobble and wobble so um sometimes i'm losing my way but losing your way is they say losing your way is also finding your way so it might take you a while before you actually stand on your feet and you say you know like everything is now going as it should that is it I don't know if you understand me so please let me know if you understand me in the comment section below and if you, you and also if you can elaborate on that that would be great the last one that is number seven the last one that i wanted to mention on this video is you will need to do another driving exam in our country kenya we drive on the left side of the road that is the car is on the left side of, of the road the driver is on the right this side my right hand but we are driving on this side the way i'm sitting right here and in the netherlands it's vice versa so uh and also the rules on the road and uh the kilometers that you drive on the road everything is just very different compared to african countries compared to african countries and i think also uh yeah and also if you're coming from uh, the uk because the uk and kenya they drive on the same side of the road if you're coming from the european union or whatever then for you i think the rules are different and you don't need to do the exams again you just need to change your driver's license is that the case please if you know this share with me but one thing that i know for sure if you're coming from african countries especially if you're coming from kenya because i'm from there and my videos are about my experiences as a kenyan and also at large as an immigrant here in the netherlands you will have to do another exam it doesn't matter how many years you have been driving in kenya when you move to the Netherlands, you are allowed to use your international driver's license for six months here in the Netherlands. And after that, you need to do an exam and then you get the Dutch or the European one. Yes. So that is, I think that is very important because I've heard people ask me like, okay, so you passed your driver's exam, but didn't you do like an exam here in Kenya? and was that not enough no it is not enough and i uh, yes i did yes i could drive in kenya before i moved here i did an exam there so i was able to drive i got my license but yeah when i moved here to the netherlands i needed also to do another exam and i'm telling you it and i'm telling you honestly it was not easy it is also a challenge it can be a challenge you know people are different but at large it is a challenge so a challenge that i'm also going to talk about one of these days and give you guys some tips on how to like how i learned from my mistakes the mistakes i made and how the good things that i did in order to pass the driver's exam so yes that's it guys so guys i want to say um thank you very much for watching this video um thank you for your support everybody that has subscribed to my youtube channel thank you very much thank you for all the people that leave comments and uh, people that like and also those that share if you haven't shared yet please 
go ahead and share the video or my videos with your family and friends you know tell them about me and ask them also to subscribe you will be supporting me big time you will be helping me big time so go ahead and do that if you haven't subscribed yourself also and you're watching me please go ahead and subscribe that will be really really appreciated and again i hope that you've enjoyed this video leave a comment and uh, share your experiences because you never know you your experiences might just be something that um, another person was waiting for so that they can learn from them and you know it's good to make to it is good to try and make each other's lives better because actually what what else is there in life so thank you again for watching and um, I will see you in the next video bye bye